everyone, it's me, Jen, from M Just Like You, and I just literally stepped in from Nordstrom's. I went to pick up my pre-order from the new collection by MAC, and it's their Sailor Collection, and this is the one collection of the year that is extremely big and popular. Uh, of course, they have great collections throughout the whole year, but during the summer is when they actually launch a really big one. And um, last year it was Wonder Woman, the year before was Venomous Villain, and this year is the Sailor Collection. And I think this, out of all the collections I've experienced with MAC, um, this is a very wearable collection and very, very cute. So that's why I was so excited to come home to share with you guys my first impression review because I kind of wanted to know, you know, how it is and I want to try to save you some time from actually going out to the store and looking at them. Um, it's always better to see swatches and hear a little bit about it before you do purchase the ones that you like. So hopefully this is helpful. So um, let's start out with the packaging. The packaging is really cute. It is a... Um, navy blue and white stripe kind of packaging very chic not loud at all um, very unlike MAC in my opinion and then the inside is red I really love the contrast between the two of course it's just the packaging you probably will throw it out but it is cute and I do like to kind of um, take off the top just cut off the top and then use this as a sleeve and then just um, you know like stick all of these sleeves together and then that way you can store your MAC items and then you can see the little, you know, the little design. I think it's cute. So um, the first one I wanted to show you is the main one from the collection and it is the highlight. This is in Crew and as you can see it's a very colorful kind of highlight and it's really really gorgeous. I am unsure if the top is just a spray over since MAC does do that a lot um, where just you know after you've used it a while the color part will probably not be there anymore and all you get is that white underneath. But um, I do notice that this highlight doesn't have shimmer at all, so it's more of a powder type of highlighter. And as I'm swatching it, I can tell that it's very ashy on my skin tone. Oh, that sucks. I really, really wanted to like this. I think it's really, really cute, but it is way too ashy on my skin tone. I do not like it at all. Oh. So I guess this is not a must-have, um, but I do think that it's a great finish. It's a very soft powder, so I think this would work on fair skin tones. And um, even if you're really fair, this you, this would probably work as a blush as well. Um, I'm surprised they didn't call this a um, beauty powder, but a highlight powder. I guess because beauty powder does actually not sell so well on MAC, so that's probably why. But this is definitely not... A must have but I know this is going to be really popular due to the packaging so um, if you don't get your hands on this please don't cry I think this is not that great um, wouldn't work on every skin tone so um, another face product that I got is a blush from them they have two blush one is a very chalky type of peachy color which I didn't think would be very flattering on my skin tone so I did get um, fleet fast and it looks like this and it is a very natural color. It reminds me a lot of a color that I would probably wear as a lipstick or a lip liner that I have. Um, something that I think would work on almost everyone and a very nice color for every day. Very, very natural. It is a satin finish and as I'm swatching it, I do see some type of um, sheen to it. So it does give you a little bit of a dimension. But if you don't like that kind of silver sheen, um, very similar to... Um, Rock and Republic Bedroom in my opinion, which is one of my favorites. So this is a great, really great color. It's more warm than cool, so I think it's very flattering. But um, the packaging is just very adorable. It would definitely stand out if you put it against all the other MAC containers. And in the collection, they actually have two... Um, pigments. One is Old Gold, which is a permanent one with just a different packaging. And then this one is called Navel Blue. At first when I saw this, I actually thought it was Cornflower. But once I swatched it, it was so much more beautiful than Cornflower, which I didn't even think that was possible. Cornflower is actually a pigment that is permanent. And this one is much more deeper, much more blue, more navy, and a lot more dimension. And I really, really love this one. So if you love pigments, I think this is something you would like to I think you should check out. And then on 
eyeshadow. I got this one, this beautiful green one. It's called Feeling Fresh. It's a frost finish. And I'm really happy that MAC came out with this green just because they don't really have a true green. They usually have like an olive green or a green that has darker, to, you know, darker olive tones or a green that has a lot of blue in it. This is true green and I think it's great to use as eyeliner. But I don't think the finish is that great because the pigmentation needs a lot of build up. And also, I find that it's kind of drying. It's not very buttery or... It reminds me a lot of Minted, the eyeliner by MAC that's very popular. And then the other eyeshadow that I got is John T. And it's a more neutral color. And it's this color right here. It reminds me a lot of a... Um, a frosty version of Omega, but a little bit lighter. I think it's really gorgeous. I love this one just because it's a great color to wear on top of your lids by itself. And then no one really could tell that you have a shadow on, but once you're in the sun, it does have this sheen, this really beautiful sheen. And um, also, I think since it is a very flattering color against the skin, it would be really beautiful as a highlight. So you can wear it um, in a lot of ways. So I love products like that because you can wear it in different ways and so you can just have to carry around one thing, especially if you travel. So I love that one. And then moving on to lip products, I got this really great um, Pro Long Wear Lip Pencil. This is called um, Shanter. And the reason why I purchased this and the reason why I wanted to review this and show this to you guys is because I think this is going to be really, really popular. Um, very similar to the NC30 NW25 pencil, the PowerPoint pencils by MAC, which is in the skin color. But this one is less yellow and less foundation-like, but more of a um, your flesh tone type of color. So it's great for um, in your waterline and as well as as a great lip liner especially for those who don't have fuller lips I think this will be a great pencil to kind of um, give you an illusion of fuller lips as well as a great lip liner for nude lipstick the only thing that I noticed about this is that it is a little bit smaller than the usual pencils but since it is pro long wear I don't think you would have to touch up as much and it would last you a longer time so last item is the lipstick and I absolutely love the packaging. I think it's absolutely adorable and so cute. I really love the fact that it's so Nautica-like. And um, the color that I got is in Cela V and it's this beautiful, beautiful coral red. And the reason why I purchased this is because I wanted to show you guys that there is a dupe for the Tom Ford Wild Ginger. Um, I wore the Wild Ginger color in my Real Technique video and so many people or like, oh my gosh, it's so nice. Can you tell me what it is? And, you know, I really, really hate it telling you guys it's Tom Ford because it's so expensive and I know it's not as affordable for everyone. But I was happy to see this because I knew that this would be a great dupe. And so I swatched this on my arm and then I ran to Tom Ford and I swatched the Tom Ford one and I'm like, yes, it is a dupe. Um, I don't have my Tom Ford one with me because it is back at school. But um, I do know it is a great dupe and I absolutely love this color. I think it's very flattering on skins that are warmer and more yellow based. I think it's such a beautiful modern way to wear red because it does have this beautiful orange undertone. But it's also great to wear it as an orange color if you have like um, more of an orange lip liner. I think it's just very chic. And I'm very excited to share this with you guys because I was really feeling guilty that I couldn't find a dupe for that Tom Ford lipstick. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video and that you love these kind of like first um, impression review. and. Please comment below what you like from the collection or what you're wanting to try or what you bought. Um, I really want to know what is popular and maybe I'll go back because I'm really disappointed about that powder. But anyways, so um, I will see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.